Hey there and welcome to My Green Pets. I'm William Green. In today's update from Fantasy Orchids in Louisville, Colorado, where I rent a space so that I can grow my orchids in a nice, humid, sunny, tropical environment. Today we're just going to look at what's in bud. There's a lot of things getting ready to bloom in the next couple months. Let's start out with Bobophila medusae. It is a plant that I've had for about five years. It's one of my favorite bobo films. It's got amazing flowers. And you can see there are two spikes pushing out here out of these two bulbs. That one bulb on the right looks like it might have a little bit of an issue with some rot right there at the base. Maybe some water got in there. So that bud or that spike might actually not make it, but we'll see. We're looking at a growth here. You can see they're a lot thicker than the spikes. And this is another bulbophyllum with also very, very cool flowers. This is Lovely Elizabeth. And Lovely Elizabeth hasn't bloomed for a couple of years, but it has put on lots and lots of growths. And that makes me think that we might be seeing some blooms this fall. So, um, yeah, this plant grows really well. I've been using that uh, rooting hormone on them to get them to just keep putting roots out. The weird thing is the, the uh, bulbs are still kind of shriveled, even though they get tons of water. So I don't know exactly what's going on there but um, uh, on this bulb you can see where the um, where the spikes will push out there that little sheath at the base there the bulb kind of pointy looking thing the if that's a flower spike it'll push out of there now this is a Catlia rex this was actually the first one that ever bloomed for me earlier this summer and um, the root system was pretty heavily damaged and you can see that even the newest growth now is starting to get a little shrivelly, starting to lose some color to it, looking a little pale. Um, I, th I am cautiously optimistic that this plant is still going to be okay. It's putting out about five new roots right now, three of which are growing pretty aggressively. So um, if each one of those roots even re reaches maybe 10 centimeters long, that should be, I'm just guessing, but I'm hoping that's going to be enough to support the plant uh, pushing out a new growth. Probably won't be as big. All right, let's look at the catacetum types. Now, these guys are doing really well. It's the end of the summer. They're pretty much done growing, and they've started to spike. This is Cycnotis Wine Delight, and it's much bigger than it's ever been. It's got a spike pushing out. I was kind of hoping I might get more than one spike, but um, anyway, here it is, and uh, who knows what it's going to look like. I challenged uh, Marissa Koopman last week uh, because her Cycnotis like, uh, Wine Delight looks so great. You should check out her pictures on Instagram. This is Catacetum Fong Sing, and it is putting up two really nice looking spikes. I think there's about 11 buds on one side and 9 on the other. And um, I'm not really sure if you can Google Catacetum Fong Sing and pull up some pictures. It looks like it's mostly kind of red with white splotches. Um, but it's the buds are really white right now. So I don't know if they're going to um, change color as they grow, um, you know, become more red. I'm not sure quite how that happens, but it's going to be interesting and fun to watch. Now this is another catacetum type. This is a Fred Clark Ara, actually. So it's a mix of like three or four different genera. And it doesn't even have a, a name. It's a hybrid from Sunset Valley Orchids. And um, I saw a picture of something similar to this plant. It had a one, it, it had a little bit different parents, but the flowers were almost black. But anyway, on these Fred Clark Aras, I'm not quite sure where to look for spikes. Maybe, you know, between the leaves or at the base of the plant. But as of now, I don't see anything yet. But the bulb is definitely nice and big. Hopefully, it'll push out a flower spike. And then the last catacetum type, this is a Mormodia. And it's um, this blooms in the winter after the solstice, usually. It's got um, greenish flowers with red speckles. And uh, this year's bulb definitely looks bigger than last year's bulb and last three years' bulbs, really. So I'm looking for some nice flowers on these in a few months. Another cool plant, this is Phalaenopsis shilleriana. This is a Phalaenopsis species. It's got beautiful, beautiful speckled leaves. And the um, flower spike has been visible for about two weeks now, maybe a week and a half. Um, it's got about five months growing time before the first flower opens. 
So that's something to kind of watch with excitement throughout the winter. And then here's another plant that I'm excited about blooming. This is a path villosum. It's a species. I've had it for a few years, and it finally looks like it's pushing up. It actually looks like it's pushing up two spikes. Both of those growths look like they're going to push something out of them. So excited to see what happens out. Um, it actually is kind of losing some of its lower leaves, so that worries me a bit, but hopefully it'll have a nice bloom. Now this is a Stanhopia oculata, and I actually had a plant, had this plant years ago, and then I sold it, and then um, Next Growth sent me a piece back after hers bloomed, uh, and it was so nice that I asked for a piece and she sent me one, so I just wanted to show you that this has got a new growth pushing out on it, so my Stanhopia is stabilized, it's pushing out new growth, and hopefully when it's gotten enough growths, it'll bloom and... Uh, be spectacular. And this is an Avanda falcata, and it has done very, very well since it's been in the greenhouse. It's um, put on lots of new uh, side growths and offshoots, and this year it had like 15 flowers. So it's really loving this environment, and I think the plant looks really nice. Well, as always, thanks for tuning in to My Green Pets. Next week's video is actually going to be uh, interesting. I was tagged to do an orchid question and answer session um, by Stephen Van Camp and Lewis. Thank you, Stephen. So I'm going to put that video together and hopefully have that out to you by next weekend. Just kind of giving some info about me and my orchid habit <laughs> and uh, my experiences over the years. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, as always, I hope that your green pets are doing well, and we'll see you next time. So until then, I'm William Green, and happy growing.